up y'all once again we meet in the car and we're headed to Dollar General right now I can say that this video might be a joyous one for some it might be a sad one for some but my heart is really touched um, I'll just tell you what it is doggone people that won't get their cats and dogs fixed and there, there are different places around here that you can get your dog or your cat spayed or neutered and it costs like very little they don't charge you you know the full price because there's a cat overflow here the animal shelters can't take any any in people are not getting their critters fixed then they don't want them so they just dump them out and remember the three kittens that we have somebody dumped them out down at our dumpster and we adopted three of them had them spayed and neutered and and they're just little happy kitties but we came down here the other day and we always ride by where they're dumped out and this little yellow kitty came up to the car oh my gosh i wanted to, in fact we did bring it home um because we forgot the lady's number that helps with these kitties and that thing it was just the most loving purring being all around but he did pee, pee on my Christmas tree skirt. I had to wash that. But you know, he was nervous and he was didn't know where he was. You know that they, it came out of a home because they were domesticated. There's three of them down there. Two, uh, they're not from the same litter. Two are like one's a tuxedo cat, a black and white, one solid black, and this is little yellow tabby. And my heart just went out to that yellow tabby. So we took him to, it's a long story, but we took him to this guy that was supposed to get in touch with the lady that um, takes care of these critters the best that she can. She can't take in anymore. Her husband won't allow it. So they, took, they said, well, the cat must belong to somebody around there because it's so loving. He didn't know that it came out of a home. Cats just pitched out and probably their little minds going, where are we? What do we do? How do we fend for ourselves as far as food and stuff? Which this lady named Claire, I'll just tell her her name, that goes in the morning and then there's a gentleman that goes in the in the afternoons that goes to feed the cat. They have little um, like Tupperware containers, but it doesn't have any fronts to them. But I'm saying all that because we're going to Dollar General and to see about getting some containers that have a lid on them we're going to cut a little hole out like in the side of it so it gives them depth to go in that way they're out of the wind the snow uh you know the rain the, those kind of things and and then if you know if uh, they usually she does trap them and take them to that place i was telling you and have them neutered and spayed that way there's not more kitties so that's what we're doing today and i'm hoping my, my heart hurts guys and uh, I've thought about that little yellow cat but right now we're gonna have to get a big crate from the Humane Society which we did with the other three kitties and get it acclimated to you know our our outside on our back porch but our other two male cats. yeah and then we have two <laughs> other male cats so you know and he's a male um, so I don't know I don't know how this is going to go Y'all be praying and crossing your fingers that I'm hoping that that somebody will see that cat and see how loving it is and want to take it home. Well, anyway, right now we stopped at the post office. I got to drop off some more Christmas cards, and then we're going to be headed to Dollar General to see if they have some of those containers. And yeah, we have some hay, so we're going to put hay in there as well. I just, it's just, I, I'm thinking that those cats are used to being inside. And now, you know, they're just trying to get all curled up on that piece of straw and wind can just blow in there. There's, how are they gonna keep warm? That's my heart. We're animal people, we love animals. And 
they have feelings they get sick like we get sick I mean not all the sickness but you know they they go through different feelings too and you know they're loved when they rub all on you and 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 they love you and that's what this kitty did how could people do that well let me get in here I gotta get off because then I'll get mad I'm gonna go in here to the post office so I'll be back and hopefully Dollar General will have some of those um, containers not we'll have to go to Walmart or something but I'll just say a prayer would you we're at the Dollar General let me just get back so you guys can see okay guys we're here at the Dollar General so we are welcome to Dollar General I hope you have a great shopping experience. Yeah. Okay, here we are. So, baby, can you take the basket? We're gonna look for it. If we find the containers. We can carry Baby. Uh, I'm looking, guys. I don't see them yet. They might be down. Then again, I don't know if they have any. You know me, I can always go down here and look, see what the clearance is. And in Christmas stuff too. Now, isn't that cute? He's already <clears throat> grunting and complaining. Sometimes you just gotta leave your hubby at home. I'm just looking at these things. Ain't they cute? All right, let's head on. I hope they've got some. If not, we'll have to go to go to Walmart's. I don't see any as of yet. We used to be in clocks. Did y'all see all those clocks we have on the wall back home? I don't know if they got any or not. So. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, here they are. Okay, guys. Um. Alright, that one's um, that one's nine ninety five. They don't need that big one. These are too skinny. Lord. They had to act like they're in the army and do the crawl just getting that one. Now we've got these but they don't have we might have to wait and go to uh, those are fifteen. We might just have to wait. Maybe I, I don't see any, and that's not a clear one. They're not clear, the ones that are smaller. So, okay. Well, guys, well, guys, they don't have any here. Not that we can use. I'm ready. So, I guess we're just headed on to Walmart. I really don't want to go in Walmart. But, I'll get this at Walmart. Okay, he's going to get that at Walmart. So, off to Walmart we go. Y'all want to come along? Oh, wait a minute. They got some Christmas ones. I wonder if Christmas ones will work. Yeah, look at that. Hey, guys. Why won't this thing focus is what I want to know. There it goes. Look at these. Now, that's itty bitty. Now, something like that's great. It has $12. This one's a perfect size. Let me look around the side here. Yeah, that's a perfect size. I think that'll be great. So I have to tell Mr. We don't have to go to Walmart. Uh, those are deep. I think we're gonna get a couple of those. All right, guys, we just left Dollar General. We did get two. They were kind of uh, like a baby blue. We'll show you, but we did, we did get two uh, two of them that weren't real huge, it weren't itty bitty either. So, <clears throat> hopefully we can cut a hole out. There's a couple of them that are up here that just has straw laying in. I'll show you and then it just kind of goes on out into the, to the grass and um, I don't know. I don't want to mess up some of what they think but um, I think that the straw needs or the hay needs to be in the container, not laying out and stuff either but 
you know, people, there are some people that have a heart. But uh, we're going to see if we can cut a hole in it. Mr. brought his knife. Now, notice that the others had tape around it so it won't splinter. And maybe we can do that at another time. There she goes again. Let me know. You get your seat built in. So, um, I didn't see the little yellow tabby. I didn't see any of those that... Um, um, that were you know already domesticated. I'm praying somebody got them, but I, I don't know. I mean, how, how do you know? You know, I, I have to ask the lady that's been going down there in the morning to see uh, when they were no longer there. I'm praying that a dog didn't get them, and or a coyote. Um, it's just you just never know around this area. You have to realize that we're up in the hills of Virginia, and uh, you know there are wild critters are running around and they're getting now to where they come into the towns around houses and stuff because um, they're running out of hunting um, what's the word I want to say the uh, hunting grounds where people are logging trees or you know people are building houses a lot of people are coming into the area and their natural habitat and their natural habitat you know so they're coming in closer to towns and stuff and houses because they're looking for something to eat we get angry with these coyotes yes but you know they're just like anything else they're looking to survive they're looking um you know for uh, some place to, to bed down so to speak and uh some place to eat but anyway um I'm just glad we found two containers. And, we'll run the house and cut a door on and put the uh, straw in the back. Mr. says we're going to go ahead and go to the house first and make sure that we have the right tools. Plus, like I said, some tape to go around the hull um, to keep it from splintering and stuff. So, And the hay can be changed because, you know, on those uh, Tupperware containers, they got the little snap things on the edges to kind of keep the <coughs> lid on. So we have to worry about the wind blowing it off. And then you can change the hay by taking the, the lid off and put a new hay in there. So anyway, um, my heart feels a little bit better, kind of, sort of, that the uh, yellow tabby's not there because I'm so praying that it went up to a house and somebody go, look at this little loving kitty and take the kitty, or, or all three of them that were kind of domesticated. So, but there's others that are out there. One ran across the street uh, when we pulled up. Uh, and I don't know if it's a feral cat or a domestic, domesticated. So, anyway, <coughs> let's head on to the house and um, see what we can do. See at the house. Okay, here's the deal. You can see we're back in the car again. But uh, we went ahead, I already told you, we bought the two uh, Tupperware, whatever they're called, containers with the little lids on them that latch. And uh, we had some hay, so we went to the house and we cut out two holes on the side, as I told you, and then we put the hay in there. We're headed back down now to uh, the place where uh, the kitties are. I talked to the lady that you know, has been taking care of them, uh, feeding them. I mean, she's just a really sweetheart. But anyway, um, I just talked, got off the phone with her just, just a little bit ago. And what she's going to do is, as far as the, all those three kit, cats that I was telling you, they're, you know, they're not feral. Uh, they, they were in a home. But anyway, they do have ear mites. So she's going to try to... Um, when they're all three there, she's going to go ahead and put them in a, a carrier or carriers. She's going to take them to another uh, city um, that's not too far from here. And they um, spay and neuter them for a really, really great price. So anyway, and have their ears uh, looked after because, I mean, they're just scratch. They can't quit scratch. It's just terrible. So. Uh, she's going, she feels bad for them. I do too. And of course, if you know, I got them, I'd put some sweet oil or something in there, and it kind of smothers the mites. And uh, I told her, if, you know, push comes to shove, you know, just do that until she can take them all three to the um, to the vet. <coughs> Anyhow, we're headed that way, like I said. And uh, oh, I can show you one of them. There it is. See that? 
I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Uh, but yeah, that's it. And the hole is on the other end. And so that way we got, you know, with a lock top up there, that way we can put clean hay in it. Uh, so I'm feeling really good about that. And uh, I'm kind of hoping that yellow kitty's down here. I, uh, excuse me? We bought food to help Claire. Oh yeah, we bought a bag of food to help uh, Claire with feeding these cats. And, um, yeah, because she's the only one, and this other guy, he comes down and feeds them in the afternoon. But, shame on y'all that put cats out like that. Shame, shame, shame. Get your cat fixed, and you don't have to worry about it. You know, or ask somebody. Of course, it's hard, you know, with cats, but it's just overpopulated here because of the lack of getting them neutered and spayed. And just, you know, pitch them to the curb. Just pitch them to the curb. That bothers me. Here I go getting on that rant. So let me get off here. We're almost there. And I'll show you the little setup that's going on down here. It's kind of pitiful, but this, then again, it's kind of great. She said the little yellow cat, she says blonde. The, the blonde cat was just uh, uh, all up in one of those little, uh, little houses that are making. Somebody changed out a couple of them, which is good. Two of them are really wide open. But she said that he was up in the one of them just curled up trying to stay warm because it's it's been foggy might as well be like rain you know it's got this, all that dampness the ground is saturated uh in water and it's cold and next week is supposed to be snowing some so this has to be done i mean why would you i mean wh where were they supposed to go you know if it when it's raining or or snowing really where are they supposed to go so Anyway, I'm sure some of you out there feel the same way I do and your heart goes out. But as I ask you, just be praying for these babies and uh, at least let's get them neutered and spayed. And so they can, uh, so they won't be reproducing and we'll have more and more and more of this problem. All right, we're almost there. Let me turn it around so you can see. Okay, we're coming up on it. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. So going over speed bumps. This this is it right here. This is it. That's now there's a cat cute. out there. Uh, he's probably a feral one, but That's he's a good eating. Size kitty. Yeah, he's a good size kitty. And then let me get out and video this. Okay, guys, this is what I'm talking about. Now she did. Uh, somebody did get these. Um, it was hay in there. Somebody put some little blankets or something in there so they could keep warm. But this is what I'm talking about. Now there's bowls all over the place. That other cat ran off. Here's the other little house over there. So, th so they can get in and get out of the rain and the snow. Uh, I don't see the other two cats. Um, they're too uh, more domesticated. But we brought ours and this is what ours looks like. We put tape around, tape around it and then filled it with uh, hay. So we're going to try to set yeah, these out. Set this one. Okay, this is one. Of, see what I mean about domesticated? There's a tuxedo cat, which is black and white, and um, it's also love. And this is just so sweet. Got the sweetest face. I checked. That's a female. So that one's going to have to be fixed. Uh, of course, she goes in heat. But these are the two, the bluish ones that we got. See where they can go. This one. I mean, it's fine. I'm glad they they've got some place to go. But this one we did this way so they can go all the way in the back there. And then here's the other two that she put some straw. Then we put our other one up there. And then here's this one. So there's one, two, open, three, four, five, six, seven, seven little uh, houses here for these babies. And there's one of them. The yellow one, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, we're out of here. I got to get back to the house. We're having guests and stuff, but you guys, you know, this is pitiful. It really is, and it breaks my heart. I might get some of that straw and put uh, on up in there because that's just too open. I mean, you know, rains, rain goes that way. They're going to get wet, so that's what bothers me. All right, I uh, guess I'll see y'all when I get back to the house.
Um, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. And remember that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. And come on, let's say it. Let's say it. You're blessed in the city. You're blessed in the fields. You're blessed when you come and you're blessed when you go. In Jesus' name, I love you guys. Bye.